G'day and welcome to the asylum. Today I'm having a bit of a flashback moment. Uh, now that the hype's died down um, around two of my favourite little quads, um, the 75 mils and the Echine trash can uh, and the Mobula 7, um, where did we kind of land with these? Because the world has kind of moved on since these were come out and there was a lot of hype around them. Um, the you know the world's gone to Cinecam and the Mobula Seven HD and you know we've got the tra uh, the toothpicks all out there now. So let's see where we all kind of land with these things. All right, so let's start with the trash can. Um, I'll chuck it on the bench and we'll have a look at the text and specs just briefly um, afterwards. What you get out of the box? Out of the box, you get four little three hundred milliamp hour batteries, which is cool. Um, you get some cool instructions, so if you want to bind it up, so if you get bind and fly. Um, you get some props, and you get a little XT30, and a little screwdriver, and heaps of screws, and props, and another four sets of props. These are the props that actually came on it, um, which were really awesome, except for the fact that they kind of like spun off um, really quickly, so they're not really squishy on there. But I've gone to the gem pam, so that's cool. But it's always cool to get spare props if you just want to out of the boxer. Um, and they're the props, which are exactly the same between the two models. Hmm, curious. Um, also, when you get the trash can, um, you get a single battery charger and a pretty cool earshine case, which is always good to cut your stuff around and everything else. Now, with the Mobula 7, um, this comes out of the box with some Happy Model stickers. It also does come with, ooh, where they go, uh, four little 250 milliamp hour batteries. Keep that in mind, people. Um, some cool destructions also. So you always need destructions, especially when you're binding them up. And the star of the show, personally, is this little sucker right here. Now, with the Mobula 7, they do have two specs. They have a, stand, uh, a, a basic and then a standard. Um, the standard is a couple of bucks more, but it comes with this. Um, this is an absolute rip snorter. Now, as I'm filming this, there's probably about $20 difference between them. So at the moment, the Mobula 7 is cruising in around, I think it was $127 Australian, 90 something in the US. Um, and this was $137, I'll double check that. But for the value out of it, um, out of the box, I'm more impressed with Mobula 7 so far. But we'll have a look at it on the bench and we'll quickly go over the specs. They are very similar, um, but you'll see what I mean when we get going. And then we'll take them out of fly them. Um, we'll have a look at them as a out of the box racer or out of the box, box flyer, sorry. Um, and uh, after, if you're quite happy with that, that's cool. Which one will, will perform better out of, straight out of the box? Um, then we'll also have a look at if you know you want to tinker around a little bit, um, which is the better one after a bit of tuning, um, after a bit of tuning, and and who they're going to suit more. And then, in my opinion, the overall best performer. So we'll have a look at that, all right. Okay, first off, we're gonna have a look at the Mobula 7. Um, it's same chassis as the trash can. Um, slight differences. Um, obviously this one's still running the version two frame. Um, and as you can see, it comes with the, the little TPU mount there. So you can put your uh, 250 milliwatt, 300 milliwatt um, batteries in there. I personally have printed off a 550 one, um, which is just bigger and deeper, which fit in there quite nicely. But just a quick look over what we've got here. Um, inside, we've got the Crazy B F3 Pro 4-in-1 ESC. Um, we have the... If I can get the image shot, maybe if we're lucky, uh, the 802... 16,000 kV motors uh, with the 40 mil props. These ones, are, and I've done it to both of this one and the trash can, um, I've put uh, gem fams on it. Um, so they seem a little bit nicer. Um, it has the 700 TVL um, generic, I'm going to say, camera. Um, the 5120 
cam. It has race band um, and comes in at uh, 25.9 grams um, without uh, batteries, obviously. But yeah, this is quite a tidy little unit. Um, out of the box, I did actually find that it was put together uh, a lot cleaner and neater. Um, I, like, I, I do like the way that they put all the motor binding uh, wires nicely tucked in there. It all sits nice and flush. Um, no vibrations. I know some people had um, rubber grommet issues, but this is actually, this is my third frame on this one. Um, after I slammed it into the road um, and bent a motor shaft, which is fun. But do you know what? This thing is absolutely, absolute tank. It's a tank. It just keeps on keeping on and yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go with this one. I'll let you know later in the film. Okay, now the trash can. Um, the trash can's got the Crazy B F4 uh, board in it, which will actually be a little bit um, better longer term if you want to keep playing around with it in beta flight um, because beta flight aren't going to as i understand they're not going to keep updating um, the software for the f3 boards but some people will care others won't um, 33 grams without batteries um, it's four in one esc also it's an 803 15,000 kv motors so a little bit taller and a little bit talkier um, it's running also the 40 mil props the same I've, as I said I, I've put the gem pams on here because I find they're quite nice um, it has got the Cadex uh, 1200 TVL 2.1 mil lens in it the Cadex EX, EOS 2 sorry it also has race band um, which is always can be handy if you're after after that type of gear and as you can tell this frame is the V3 now I this is the only frame that they actually came out with on the trash can with the Mobula you have the V1 the V2 and this one really uh, which is the V3 um, really really strong frame um, the only thing I've managed to do to it was um, bust a little joint there only because of the fact that I was trying to put my bigger batteries in around the wrong way but that was me out of the box I found that it wasn't quite as finished production wise as the Mobula um, I had to tighten up a couple of screws and there's a couple of beta flight issues I had to fix up but otherwise it's quite a tight um, little build I love the fact that you can get a massive camera angle on it so for those who want to go speeding around like crazy perfect really easy to do and it also comes with the trash can logo and the leds which are configurable in beta flight which is always cool fun um, you can customize that however you want and have a bit of fun with that all right let's get out there and see what they look like
start having a look at Dom on the bench and some quick DVR out and about. Um, let's get to the nominations. The nomination for best out of the box flyer, um, I it, it's it's going to the Mobula Seven. Seriously, out of the box, this just bound up, especially in the binder flyer, it bound up really easily. And I was up in the air in no time. There wasn't any little things I had to tweak or get going. Uh, I just want to mention also that both of these, you can change all of your OSD settings and you can change all your milliwatt because they're both running. You both have a interchangeable 200 milliwatt um, VDX in them. Um, they, the Mobula 7 is just a tighter unit. If you've got a whole heap of um, 250, 300 milliwatt amp hour batteries, sorry, um, kicking around, this is the way to go. As a 1S flyer out of the box, down tune, detune the um, throttle, um, and you can do that either in the on screen, in the OSD, on the, on the board, or you can just do it in your um, transmitter. It's really easy. So out of the box, um, this is, the Mobula 7 is the way to go. Um, and especially when you add in the price at the moment, um, I just went back and had a look. So it, uh, it's a hundred. The, uh, the Mobula Seven is one hundred twenty-seven dollars Australian, eighty-five US. That's in the standard edition. So as I said, that is with this cool little charger. Now you can get this charger separately, um, and that's twenty-three dollars Australian, uh, fourteen US. So. To buy it and it comes with this, awesome. Now, let's talk about these after you tinker them around a little bit, change the PIDs um, and get them all sorted. The, the trash can has a superior camera in it. Let's be honest, the CADEX camera is pretty cool. It does seem a little bit overexposed, especially in the reds. It's great on the inside, but out of the box, I found it was quite flat. I found it really flat. So, excuse me, the cat. Um, but after a little bit of tuning, um, it did really start to perform. Now, just to be aware, these guys are both running the same PIDs and they're running the same um, version of Betaflight they are running exactly so it's literally down to how the boards go um, as you can tell they're running the same props just different color and they're also running in the same direction um, so performance wise they should be identical so it literally comes down to hardware after a tune and the ability to have the serious camera angle on your trash can this is a rocket this to me feel the motors as i said uh, a larger and you know the torquier this is a quicker quad not by much but this the performance is noticeable are you going to notice it every other day of the week probably not but me personally i have set this up as my speedster um, especially with the more rigid frame and it is a little bit heavier um, as i said it's coming in at 33 grams without the batteries, um, where the M7, the Mobula 7 is coming in at 25.9 grams. It helps for speed. Your greater uh, mass, more velocity, it's a really good rip snorter. So if you are gonna set this up as a little speedster and you wanna zip around and you know, maybe you're a racer and you just wanna keep your, you've got a five inch, three inch quad that's decided to die, but you wanna keep on the sticks and keep them keep fresh this is actually a really good one handles well doesn't handle as well as the mobula 7 but i think that's a bit of a weight game anyway as a speedster um, and a bit of tuning trash can now this is going to come to the overall winner now as i said very similar quads i do actually run these um you can run both of them on one s the 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 trash can does seem really flat on one S. Um, and I, I just quickly note also that the trash can is coming with 300 milliamp hour batteries. You're getting two and a half to three minutes if you're gentle. 
but that's not what this is really set up for. Um, this even on 250 milliamp hour hard outside flying, you will get easy three minutes, three minutes plus. Okay, and that's outside hard. Three minutes seems to be the max, no matter what you do with this. Um, even if you change it up, and and I love putting in um, 550s, two 550s fitting both of them quite perfectly. Um, you will need to get a larger PTU. Um, well, this is PTU, um, or another 3D printed one for if you're running the um, version three frame, because um, it'll fit. Some people use um, elastic bands and whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, the Mobula 7 is a better all-rounder. It's quite happy flying inside, even though the camera's not as good, even though the motors aren't as torquey. I, I just think that as an o overall, either out-of-the-box flyer or uh, retuned, the Mobula 7 is the best all-rounder. You can chuck it into tight little corners. You can, it, it speeds along really well, only marginally slower. Yes, it doesn't have a better camera than the Cadex. The Cadex in the trash can is awesome, but it is slightly overexposed in my opinion. Um, you wanna fly this at night? You wanna fly it around the house on one S? I've gotten in one, well, on 255, 550 milliamp hour batteries, I've got almost five minutes inside just tootling around, um, which is awesome. Same thing with the trash can, you're not going to get that type. The, the, it just does suck down a lot more power, um, which kind of lets that down. So, in summary, Mobile 7, cheaper, better all-rounder, comes with that awesome charger, always a good thing. Um, out of the box, great. Tuned, awesome. Get yourself some 550 milliamp hour batteries and you will be loving it. So, yeah. That's my flashback on the trash can and the Mobula 7. So, have some fun. These are both great. Uh, happy ripping and make every pack count. See you later.